What's going on guys? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 my team video. How are we doing everybody guys? Thank you for the support. Uh, guys, before I get into it, drop a like on the vid, sub if you're new because we're giving away some MT. 40 likes on the vid, 10k MT to a random sub and a random commenter. So drop some comments, drop anything you would like on the video. So let's get into the video. Um, it's going to be about how to get your collector levels up. Um, because I know a lot of people do have their uh, collector levels up. So uh, let's get into it. There's uh, many, many ways to get into it. So let's get into it. Let's go. So a lot of people have been wondering why people um, have such high collector cards. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Mine isn't the highest, but it's pretty high. Like, I mean, I have 359 cards. I spent $50 in packs. So... Okay, $50 in packs. That still doesn't guarantee you that many cards collected. So what a lot of people are doing, first of all, um, there's a sniping aspect to increase your collector level. There's also a way to get more cards. And let's talk about it. So let's get into it. Um, I'm getting closer to 15K, but here are the rewards if you didn't know. Um, let me move my face cam real quick. I'm going to show you all the rewards. So we got 425 player of the week. 425, we got 500 cards, 750 cards for Isaiah Thomas. We got 1,000 cards for Eddie Jones, uh, 1,250 for 200 tokens, 1,500 for Jameson. Um, we got 300 tokens for 750, 2,000 All-Star, 100K, Jalen Rose, 2,150, uh, 2,300 Pink Diamond Scotty, 2,500, 750 tokens. And then here comes the big boys, Sabonis and Wade and AD. Um, to be honest, I like the Sabonis the most out of all these cards. He's cheese, but... So, I was watching Carl's story. He got his um, he got his collector level up for first of all. He did the, every single NBA 2K collection. Okay, so, domination actually gets you a ton of collector levels. So, literally, I'm gonna just move my face cam again. So, I didn't do that much, and I got a ton of collector levels. Like, I'm trying to grind it, but I'm busy. I'm working and stuff, but. Dude, domination helps you so much, and nobody really realizes how much it helps you. First of all, okay, so I'm gonna go over everything. So domination gets you tokens, and it gets you it gets you uh, Pistons Evolutions player. It gets you the court. It gets you the logo. That's three times. So three times thirty games, ninety plus the extra three. We are back. So guys, so think about the math. We got thirty games. Actually, no, no, no. We got uh, 33 games. Okay, so the last ones do not count. You don't get anything for the last ones. Um, actually, wait. You get a winning game, you get tokens. Okay, so for this, you get um, the tokens are MC. So 30 games times 3. Do the math. That's 90 games. That's 90 things you get in your collector's level. So let me just make sure. Let me clarify you. Make sure it's true. You get the Hawks Court. You get the Loco. You get the Evolution Player. 30 three times nine bro that's third you get 90 of them my bad three times three 90 bro you get 90 of them so 90 from there that's in your collection you get let's check the historic dom so you get just tokens oh no no that's not a good example you get um uh, a uniform you get another uniform okay so you get another two uh two times two per 30 games 60 so that's 150 things in your collection total plus you got all-time dom and honestly i don't think you get anything for all-time dom um you get a clippers ball so you get the ball so that's another 30 so you get 180 things plus all the mt and tokens with the rewards and everything you get about 250 cards just from completing all the doms and that's minimum i'm talking minimum bottom 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 that is kind of crazy. I would say about 220 cards minimum from with all the tokens and everything. So think about that. That is kind of crazy. That's how a lot of YouTubers are getting their collector's level very, very high. Not only that, there's definitely different ways. First of all, popping packs is a big way to do it. And second of all, if you're really trying to get your collector's level up, you got to stay on the market a lot and you got to snipe because... If you don't snipe, you're not gonna get your collector's level up. All about collector, everyone who gets their collector's level up, they sit on silver cards all day. They don't care. Um, they sit on silver cards all day, every single day. They don't get off the auction or anything. Like, I mean, seriously, you just gotta be patient. Silver cards, all right, right here, 4K for this. I'm gonna make a solid 6K, 6300. Not only is it a good way to upgrade your collection, 
if you're trying to you could snipe these cards all day and make a ton of mt um collector level silvers and all that good stuff get you mt they sell fast i've done it all day i've been flipping these cards all day listen to me i'm gonna not lie to you guys i literally will show you my team i spent 50 dollars in the game no lie but this is my team i got Giannis. i got mellow i got curry I got all these dudes. I got Durant. I got LeBron the auction. I got 30k MT. A ton of rubies. A ton of sapphires. You don't have to believe me. I don't care. I posted pack openings before. You can go check them out. But the way I make MT, first of all, is paying attention to these collector levels, upgrading my collector levels, getting tokens from domination, and simply just like racking up my collection. Yes, I don't have every collection done, but it takes time. You guys have to realize that. This game takes time. I don't have every collection done. I, I'm slowly getting it done. Like I have seven out of 15 for the Raptors. Yeah, but this is the problem. The silvers go for a lot. If you guys somehow have any silvers, I would sell them. Like if you have any silvers, get rid of your silvers for bronze and uh, gold and sapphires and all that. Because dude, the silvers are too expensive, especially now in the game. Um, You just can't really take them. You can't really have them. You know what I'm saying? Like like, the silvers are too expensive now. They're going to go down as the year goes on. So why have them on your collection now? It's just a waste of MT that you could be selling them for and getting more collector level upgraded. So if you understand what I'm saying, you do. If you don't, just hit me up with a comment. But so like, see, as you can see, all these silvers are 35 plus. So if they're 35 plus, bro, and you have none of the bronze cards. So let's say, for instance, I pull Ish Smith for 6,900, right? So, okay, he's mad expensive. So, I sell 6900 I pick up this bronze card. Look, look how cheap these bronze cards are. Let's say you got no bronze cards. He's like 1,000 MT. So, 6,000 MT. Let's say you pick up six bronze cards. You get six bronze cards instead of one silver card. So, think about that. Um, like, for instance, I got no bronzes on the Sixers. Are these seriously all silvers? I got no bronzes on the sil- Wow, the whole collection is silver up. That's crazy. So, Sixers collection, definitely one of the harder ones. Especially since there's all silvers. Like, this collection here is probably really expensive. The silvers are rare. Silvers are so rare. Also, bro, if you're going to spam packs and you see, a, you, like, you're getting tight because you didn't pull Amethyst. I got tight. I didn't pull any Amethyst off my 50 hour pack opening. I didn't pull any Amethyst, but you know what happened? I pulled a ton of silvers and I was very excited because silvers go for so much MT. Some of them go for 10k, some of them go for 20k. Yeah, some of them go for 5k, but silvers are huge, bro. You make a ton of MT off silvers, sell them, pick up bronzes. That's the way to do it. Also, um, to get your collector levels up, you can do um, single player triple threat. Another great way to do it. You get packs, a ton of packs. You get tokens, which upgrade it. You get a chance of that diamond. You get Darius Miles. You get a, a hundred, you get a ton of triple threat awards. You get a Western Conference pack, um, Eastern Conference reward. You get an Amethyst Desmond Mason. You get Jason Williams at 200 wins. More packs. From this alone, if you complete all thousand, you're guaranteed. I would say about probably around 50 to 100 extra cards in your collection. Maybe even more than that. I don't know if that's exact math, but with all the cards and stuff, definitely at least 50 to 100. Also, uh, what I was thinking is you could. Um, play this thing for the Alonzo Morning and the Dwayne Wade, uh, the evolving cards. Uh, where is it? So we got challenges. If you guys don't know about this, uh, I suggest playing these solo challenges. Even though I didn't even get up to it yet, I'm trying to grind other stuff. But you get a free, um, first of all, you get a ton of MT, you get a ton of tokens, and also you get a free Alonzo Morning Diamond. So, yes, you do have to uh, complete the whole Spotlight Collection. Not complete it, but at least buy the players for it. But yeah, so... We got six tokens here, six tokens here. And guys, I just wanted to let you know that um, thank you guys for coming out and watching my videos. This video, I hope it was helpful. Just make sure you follow my steps, bro. First off, any grinding you do, I suggest you try to finish all domination. You get that collector's level up legitly. If I can finish all that domination, I will probably be at my 15K. Yeah, I got a long way to go, but I don't really spend money on the game. I really want this Isaiah, bro. It's gonna take time. But we're going to grind. We're going to keep grinding. We're going to get grind that Channing French Fry. We're going to get my my uh, collector's level up just from grinding domination. But best way to upgrade your tokens, your uh, set, is getting picking up silvers, flipping them, uh, buying bronze cards, and then going to domination and simply just playing the game. So with that said, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you uh, have a good day. And stay tuned for the next video tomorrow. Have a good one, guys. Peace.